day 154 for the log. Started out with an early morning walk with a pup. I think we got outside at 6. What time? 6.15. There wasn't anyone out there, so it was great. She got to relax a little bit. I came inside, got ready, drove up north. Took the pup to my brother and dad's place, got her in the kennel. Went to the soccer game, played the game. The game was weird. We had just a co-ed, so we had enough people, and then half the people had left, and at halftime we got another set of half people, so we didn't start with the same team we ended with. But somehow we, I think it was five to four, four to three, we won. Kind of, I think we forfeited again because we had to borrow a play or something. So, a little bit frustrating. But I'm glad we all got to play, I guess. And then we came back, got the pup, where we chatted outside for a bit. For my dad's truck, and they were drinking. I had some kind of Gatorade thing my dad got at Sprouts. It was pretty good, it was like orange mango. And we got back and I waited about two hours. Tried to play with the pup and I started to fall asleep because I was tired. And then someone had, I was talking to my sister-in-law. She had ordered some food and I dozed off and they had knocked. And said, I need to get an ID to scan it in because there's alcohol or whatever. So, so I need to verify, I'm like, okay, here you go. Then I laid back down. <laughs> I just wanted to sleep because I know my dad and I were going to go out for lunch, celebrate his birthday, maybe go somewhere else. So I wanted to be rested and feel awake and coherent when we were hanging out, eating food. So I tried to drift off back to sleep, talked to my brother, older brother for a little bit, then tried to doze off again. Then my dad got there and said, let's go eat and then take a shower. I'm like, okay. So we went to this little Mexican restaurant that I guess about a month ago had done a manager or name change. He said most of the menu looked the same, so I said, okay, well if that's what you want to go, we'll go. We went. It was okay. It was nothing too great. He enjoyed it. I wasn't too impressed with my burrito. I am saying like I had too much toppings on. It said it was just gonna be rice rice, chicken, and some veggies, so I thought onions, peppers type of deal. There was onions, peppers, mushroom, corn, peas, and a couple other things, and the sauce on top was tasty, but it was, it was too much going on. I, I guess for my taste. For my taste, it was too much going on, but they ate, they ate it all. And then my dad talked about going to Sprouts to get some chocolate. I was like, yeah, it's your you know, birthday deal, whatever you want to get. So we got some chocolate raisins and some chocolate almond clusters. Not almond clusters. I wanted almond clusters, so that's what I like. He got the peanut ones and he was sharing with everyone. So we got, went back, talked for a little bit, and then put some Olympics on. I don't remember what we were watching. It was it indoor volleyball? Boxing? Boxing was on for quite a bit. Guess so that could have been the one, but we both just passed out. And Kamomo eventually came up and sat next to me and took a nap as well. Then right around 5 we got up. We are waiting for the USA vs. Mexico game for the Gold Cup. It turns out it wasn't until 6. I was a little bit like... I don't want to stay that long because it's going to be later for me to get back. But I said, you know what? It's my dad's birthday. I'll stay. I'll tough it out. Got, got a good nap and I'll be fine. Well, game started at 6. It's supposed to end around 8. They went into overtime. <laughs> so it didn't end until almost 9. It was like 8.45. And I was like, alright, I got to pack up. I got to get going. So we got Gamora's crate. Got some water. Got all my stuff, put it in the car, and tried to walk Kamomo one last time. And then she 
was being a little stubborn and didn't think, think she was happy to get in the car. She wanted to go back inside. It didn't help that we had walked her a couple of times and it was storming out. She didn't like the lightning. I think that scared her a little bit. But got her in. I got her. Put the seat down and put her dog bed on the seat. I think that helped her calm down, feel more comfortable. She pretty much sat there, slept. I don't, I don't think she slept, but she definitely lay down the whole way and didn't have the little breathing panic attacks, which was good. But man, that, uh, the gold cup, it was two minutes left in the game, and then it was 0-0. Zero, zero. And USA got fouled because they had a little bit of a breakaway. This guy in Mexico knew he got the USA guy got away, so he pulled them down. And it looked like just a hard foul just to, to stop the play. They retired. Long game. And then they make a great kick. This guy made a great run. Made a head got his head on the ball. So the header into the goal. And they won 1-0. And it's just, oh, it felt so bad to win. For them to win that late in the game. And Mexico had a ton of chances. So it was an exciting game. The ball got up and down the field. It didn't seem like it was in the middle of the field too much. It was either in front of one of the team's goals. So that made it very interesting. But... Sure, the USA team's out there celebrating right now in Vegas somewhere. But that was a, a great fun moment to have with my dad. Even though the score was low, we talked a bunch and the goal we just both got excited for. And USA had another opportunity to score right in front of the goal. The ball was two feet away from the line, and the keeper got in front of it. But it was a scramble for the ball, so the keeper got out. The USA's forward got out, and they both just pretty much dove for it. And my dad's like, oh, oh, <laughs> he just got excited. He's scared. He scared the pup. And he's like, what is going on? <laughs> she got startled and had to walk away for a sec. You okay? You okay? Did I do something bad? But she was fine. We calmed her down. We, she didn't do anything bad. She just, it went from real quiet, casual talking to my dad getting excited. So it was, I felt bad. Momo got scared, but at the same time, I really enjoyed seeing my dad get so excited over a game, and that was a great moment, and I cherish that one forever, so happy birthday, Dad. Glad I got to spend that time with you the day and have that moment to watch the game. It's definitely a memorable day. Appreciate it. And then drove back, got back around 10.45. I had a small detour because the exit was closed, so it took a little bit longer. And I was looking for this song on the radio, fancy like, it's a little bit of a country song. I can't remember the guy's name, but it was stuck in my head all morning. And I listened to it a couple of times, like, okay, for sure, and they'll drive back, I'll get it. Didn't hear it once, and I searched through six or seven radio stations that could play it. Nothing. <laughs> And so it's still stuck in my head, but I'm sure I'll hear it again tomorrow, whatever. But I came back, finished my 110 push-ups for the day, didn't get a run in. The soccer did was some kind of fitness, but the plan was at least get in three to five miles. And I just, I totally spaced it. There was a soccer game at five or six. I didn't bring any running clothes with me, just the soccer clothes. And we had a late lunch. I don't think we ate until almost 2 o'clock. So I didn't really feel comfortable trying to run that full and that tired. I just wanted to hang out a bit. The plan was to leave around 5, get here around 7, walk Kumomo for a bit, and then go just for a casual run to see how I feel, but I, that's okay, I, I'm okay with the decision, I just, the way plans change, I had a better time spending it with my dad, 
So again, happy birthday, Dad. Thank you for letting me spend that day with you. It's a great time. Never forget it. So run your life with health and happiness. Have a good night.